This could get rough. With finesse. Hey.
Sure thing. Arigatou You ever thought about getting rid of all this trash? Yeah, but it's not just trash. It's memories of my wife. Memories? Uh, I used to run this place with my wife. We didn't make much, but life was good. Right. I heard this place used to be legit. Then one day, my wife collapsed while tending the store. By the time they found her, it was too late. And she passed on. Uh, despite her health, she worried about the shop until the very end. And the worst part is that I was off goofing around while my wife was hard at work here at the shop. I've never forgiven myself. It's my fault she's gone. If I had just been at the shop that day, she would have lived. To think I wasn't there for her. Gomi-san, I tried to keep the place going by myself, but then a thought crossed my mind when I was helping a customer. What if she appraised this? How might she have felt about it? I asked. Thinking about it that way, I started to see everything in this place, like it still had a little piece of her. But from then on, I got too scared to throw anything away. I feared I might end up throwing her away somehow. Next thing you know, the store's looking like this. I kept telling myself it was merchandise, but I could never bring myself to sell it. <sighs> I knew I was being unreasonable, but I just... 
I can't say goodbye to these things. They're all I have left of her. <laughs> I get how you feel, and I'm sure it was tough losing your wife. But what about all that your wife worked so hard for, huh? What about that? <gasps> I didn't even notice this place was a shop until someone pointed it out to me. All I saw was a pile of trash. The place you two worked so hard to protect is so covered up, nobody even knows it's here. If anything has a memory of your wife in it, it's none of that shit out front. I'd say it's the shop itself, yeah? Oh, Gomi-san, I think maybe it's time to bring this place back to its former glory. <laughs> oh, Kyoko! <laughs> I've contacted the office. They'll be out here to start cleaning up soon. I'm so sorry for letting things get like this. I want to tell that to your neighbors instead of me. What are you going to do now? I'm going to get everything looking like new and open up shop again. My wife gave her all for this place. If she's still watching over me, I should make sure it's something we can both be proud of. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll stop by and pay you a visit sometime. Kasuga-san, thank you very much. I think my manager is going to be real pleased after today. Here, this is a token of my appreciation. Thanks. And keep up the great work at the welfare division, man. If you ever get promoted, maybe you can sneak a little more meat into the pork soup at the soup kitchen. <laughs> All right. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I think I'm gonna take off. See ya. Yeah. Take care. I should give this cleaning up thing a shot one of these days.
Time to clean up!
Hey, hold on, Ichiban. What's all this about going to Osaka? <sighs> Turns out Arakawa-san needs some help. My help. Mitsu just called me and said Arakawa-san's already on his way to Sotenbori. But why Osaka? I don't know. I didn't bother to ask. You realize Sotenbori is where the Omi Alliance is headquartered. You'll be screwed if your cover gets blown. Think about that, would you? All I need to think about is that Arakawa-san said he needs me. He's going to Osaka, so I'm going to Osaka. I don't care what anyone says about it. <sighs> he gets like this, Hidachi-san. Then there's no point stopping him, is there? <laughs> Loyalty is admirable, but jeez. Ichiban, what about Ijincho? The election's coming up. We helped you make all that money to fight Ryo Aoki. Now you're just gonna leave us hanging? Not at all. We got the three million yen we needed. And I'm gonna go give it to the Seiryu clan right now. We may have the money, but that hasn't solved our lack of a candidate. Certainly a necessary element of the plan. Didn't Chairman Hoshino say he'd take care of it? Don't worry. He's the kind of guy who keeps his word. If we give him the cash, he'll do the rest. If you say so. Safe travels, then. Hey, don't encourage him to do such dangerous things. Kasuga, if you really are leaving, we're coming with you. Sounds good to me. I've never been to Osaka. Guys, I'm not going there as a tourist. I'm going straight into the lion's den. Assuming Adachi-san is right and that's where the Yomi home base is. You guys don't need to get involved. This is... personal for me. Come on, man. After all we've been through, aren't we friends? Of course. I'm saying this because we're friends. If something happens to me out there, you gotta finish what we started. Still sounds like a load of crap to me. Well, think what you want. But we got the three million yen, and I'm taking it to Hoshino. I'll see all of you around.
Yes. Yes. Very well. Does my father really need to attend to this Sotomor thing personally? Yes. Remember, as acting Captain Arakawa is merely keeping the sea warm for Watase. Being there in person will be a show of respect and good faith. Fine. But why am I just now hearing about this? I said I wanted to know if he so much as breathed somewhere outside his usual places. My apologies, young master. I only just found out myself. Really now? Well, all we can do now is wait and see. Hmm? Wait and see what, exactly? Masaru Watase and Masumi Arakawa are finally meeting in person after how long? If I know my dad, they're not just gonna say hi and be on their merry ways. I highly doubt they're plotting anything. Isn't the Omi chairman still bedridden? I've heard it's terminal. Yes. That's correct. Then it's past time for a potential successor to be formally named. Actually, it may not be that urgent yet. But then again, the chairman might say Watase's release from prison is a good time to step down. And then Watase would become chairman, naturally. I'm sure his reign would be a very long one. But Omi history will take a very different course if, say, Watase disappeared. What? <laughs> I'm thinking dear old dad might try to make it happen. I don't know if that's Arakawa-san's style, exactly. You don't think so? 
Remember when I asked Dad to sell out the Tojo clan during the 3K plan? Well, I never told him to bring in the Omi Alliance. He did that all on his own. I think it was a good decision, actually. Don't you? Uh, well, sure. Thanks to him, the Tojo were driven out of Kamurucho. The 3K plan was a wild success, and my approval rating skyrocketed. I expected the Tojo clan to fall hard, but I didn't think some third-rate Tojo vermin like Dad could ever worm his way into their top ranks. <laughs> Shrewd of him to do that during all the commotion. I thought he was a slow, antiquated Yakuza, and certainly not the type of man who could catch me off guard. Huh. I guess power really does corrupt, huh? Don't get me wrong, if Dad buries Watase and takes over the Omi Alliance, I benefit too. Having him there would be very convenient for me. There's just one thing that feels off. What's that? He hasn't told me about any plan to off Watase at their meeting. That's evidence against my theory. I'll have to see what happens. If all they do is greet each other, I was wrong. Look. <laughs> On the other hand, if he wastes Watase and still doesn't see fit to tell me, that would be a betrayal I cannot tolerate. Arakawa-san won't betray you. He better not. His little Yakuza club only has power because I extend it to them. <sighs> I've come a long way since the Kamurocho 3K plan. I'm at the top of the political pyramid now, which means I need to know what's happening in the underworld. The hierarchy should be very clear at this point and I expect people to fall in line. That's a matter of policy, and family is no exception. Sawashiro, between me and my father, to whom would you swear complete fealty? Arakawa-san sent me to do as you command. His orders were to put you and your interests above everything else. My interest is for you to watch his every move and report them to me. Understood. I'll send Tendo to Osaka. He seems to have rapport with Arakawa-san. Ah, oh, Patriarch Tindo. When'd you get in? Just this afternoon. Tomorrow the captain's getting out of prison. Oh, really? <laughs> Not something civilians like you need to worry about. The wise thing to do would be to mind your own business. Is that a threat, sir? Don't joke like that, man. Your fists ought to require a weapons permit. Say what now? Nothing. I got work to do, just like you said. See ya. Hey, can I get a refill over here? Oh, make it two. Hey, Ichiban. You look like a teenage girl waiting for a text from her boyfriend. Put it down and relax. Have a drink with us. Yeah, we're in Osaka after all. Stop giving me shit. See, this is why I wanted to come alone. Where are you going, Kasuga-san? I bet it's not to take a leak. He hardly drank a sip.
Yo. Sure. Getting antsy waiting for this call from Mitsu. Could be any second now. Didn't he say he was busy planning Watase's welcome back from prison party? Something like that. Some big party at Omi HQ. What a load of crap, huh? Can he see that Arakawa-san's plans are way more important? Well, but wasn't he expecting you to be here tomorrow, not today? Dude, you're the one who jumped the gun and got here early. Kinda douchey for you to complain now. Who are you, Mama Kasuga? Someone's gotta be. But hey, listen. I overheard something that'll interest you. There was a group of people in here chatting about Arakawa being in town. It's big news, apparently. Really? Yeah. Sounds like folks are worried that a war might break out between Arakawa and Watase. It's just a rumor, but... Wisdom of the crowd and all. Shh! I got a text. Yeah? From Mitsu? Ah, oh, man, what the hell? What's wrong? It's from Nikogata. He texted me, I finally got a pick with Kamalup. Great, so glad you told me about that, Nick. Ichiban, did you see my photo? Nobody ever manages to get a pick like that. Bet Bunny, he's so crafty, you never know where his fuzzy little ears will pop up. I'm beside myself, I can't believe I found him! All right, all right, I get it. Huh? What's got your coat? I'm sorry, but I'm really tied up right now. It'd be a big help if you didn't call me for a couple days, okay? Well, look who's a busy bee. You visiting a lot of pretty flowers these days? No, it's nothing about girls! Listen, I'll call you when things settle down. I'm happy you found Kamala up. I was just teasing. Why are you so mad? Be more like Kamulop. He's never hopping mad. I gotta go, man! Yeah. Hopping mad? <laughs> mm. uh, sorry. Hey, Kasuga. If you're gonna be a pain in everyone's ass, just go to Omi HQ already. Huh? Come on. Since when do you sit around and wait for anyone, anyhow? Besides, if a war really does break out like these people think, your precious Arakawa-san could be in actual danger. <laughs> hey, Adachi-san. You're absolutely right. Screw waiting. Time to go. Yeah, that's it. <gasps> like devils on each other's shoulders. Listen. Yep. Uh. 
Should I open it? Got it.
just me, or do the people here speak like comedians? Yeah, even regular conversations are like a Monzai comedy. One person plays the fool, and one doesn't give a shit. Well, I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool if everyday conversations were funnier. All right, Sacha, hit me with a punchline. You're asking me? Yeah, let's see what you got. Hmm. Yeah, I can't just come up with something on the spot. You're not even trying to play a fool. There's a reason for that. Should I open it? Sweet! Should I open it? Got it! Check it out. A goal in a soccer ball. Why don't you show us your kick? You want me to kick you? The ball. Why on earth would I ask you to kick me? You know, I'm just playing. All right. Let's set up in front of the goal here. <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. I just noticed there's a loan shark sign posted up behind the goal. Oh, you're right. It says... Hello, Yukichi Kun. Whatever that means. Well, maybe he's getting cold feet because he doesn't have the home field advantage. The penalty kicks are stressful, man. Oh. Oh. Should I open it?
らっしゃい何がとね What? Yo! No.
Got it. My friends, Get 
Bring it on. Going in! I wouldn't underestimate me. Get away! Watch me. You sure Let's you go. want to get hurt? Take this!
Well, take this. Go on, try this. this. going up.
Should I open it? Got it! You're the same. Agi ga tode. You're the same. Ah, il est le chien. Ah, il Who's hungry? Me. Me.
ありがとうございました。それでは。Should I open it? Got it! Should I open it? Sweet! Should I open it? Got it! Because of your investment, I was able to add even more equipment to the shop. Thanks so much. This means I can make more stuff than ever before. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Well, I'll do all I can to show my gratitude. Hope you'll keep coming back. Yeah. Good. Just a finishing touch.
nice. Looking good. Almost there. Looking good. Nice, nice. Just finishing touch. Almost there. Just finishing touch. Good. Nice. Nice. Almost there.
そうですか Mitsu, you took forever, man. How long were you going to leave me hanging? Sorry, Aniki. I had to find somewhere out of earshot. Not so easy around here. Where are you now? Omi Alliance headquarters. The officers that got here early have me slaving away in the kitchen. They wanted to pregame, huh? I've been seeing tons of catering people going in. Oh, you have? Aniki, are you? Yeah, I'm just outside. Wanted to save you the trouble of calling me, but I guess it's too late for that. Why on earth would you do that? Arakawa-san's in there right now, isn't he? What? Yeah, he's here. But don't come in! I need to arrange a secure meeting spot for you two. I need more time! No way! You have no freaking clue how long I've been waiting for this! Hey, come on, dude! I told you to stay in Yokohama until I contacted you! Yeah, I think you might have said that. Might? I 
said it clear as day. Well, surprise, I'm here a little early. You would be too if you were me. God damn it, man. Fine. But for now, get the hell out of here. You do know that if someone at HQ recognizes you, you're fucked, right? Proper fucked. Oh, chill out. It's not like the place is crawling with Omi or anything. It's just these catering guys rolling their stuff around. Hey, if I disguise myself as one of them, I could slip right in. No, 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 Kasuga. Stop right there. Don't even think about it. Me too. I need to see Arakawa-san. I need to. This has been on my mind ever since he shot me in Kamurocho. Don't you get that? No, you don't get it. You can't. And I don't give a shit. I'm going in. Wait, Aniki. Where is he in the headquarters? Look, you need to... Not gonna tell me? I see how it is. Guess I'll have to ask around inside. You're gonna get mobbed, dude. I'll take down anyone who stands between me and Arakawa-san. <sighs> Aniki. <sighs> hey, if you just tell me where he is, I'll do my best to avoid any fights. I promise. <sighs> okay. Arakawa-san. He's in a room called the Dragon Chamber. Pretty deep inside HQ. Dragon Chamber. Got it. Is he alone? No. He has some guests. Three people. All right. Thanks, Mitsu. Aniki, are you really going to do this? Okay. I know where Arakawa-san is now. Finally beat it out of him, huh? Well, let's go then. No, I should do this alone. I'll be okay. And look, guys, I'm grateful to all of you for coming this far with me. But there'll be no hard feelings if you want to bail. Really? You're pulling this martyr shit now? Yeah, what's with pushing us away? You know, we didn't come to Osaka for the pleasure cruise. Hey, hey look what I found. This box was just sitting over there. And by the way, I feel the same as the rest of them. Osaka's been fun, but playing tourist is getting old. That's quite a find. It should make getting in much smoother. Guys, I... Thank you. Keep moving! Keep moving! Straight back to the parking garage! That there's the waiting room. You lost us up the pal? Yeah? Hey, someone deal with this guy. It's all good. Hey, catering boys, over here. Careful where you step now. Everyone's famished as hell. Any moment, they're gonna start hollering for food. Yo, someone go see if any more trucks can fit. Is the beer here yet? These guys will need booze. Hey. Arakawa-san's in a back room called the Dragon Chamber. Just act natural. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, well, it worked out this time. But if it escalated into a bigger commotion, we'd be done for. Try not to let them see us again, yeah? I know. I'll be more careful. out too, but our luck won't last forever. Be careful, would you? Don't worry. I won't let him find us again. In it for the long haul. Well... Take your best shot! I got this! You're feeling good. I'll show you power! Bring it on! Yeah! Bring it on! Beat me? Get alive! Right. I'll show you! Give me a full round! Good luck, Ned is done! Hey, there's no more. Oh, that put him straight on high alert. We'll be in trouble if they find us now. Let's play it safe until they calm down. Sorry, you're right. Let's fall back. Well... Yeah. 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 Too easy, I'm oh. afraid. Well, it worked out this time. But if it escalated into a bigger commotion, we'd be done for. Try not to let them see us again, yeah? I know. I'll be more careful. Should I open it? Got it! Ready when you are.
Скорость! Ready when you are. Hmm. Should I open it? Sweet! Should I open it? Got it!
Who are you, Ferris? Oh, uh, just on our way to the Dragon Chamber. What a name, huh? Yeah, it's just up those stairs. But, uh, did the acting captain ask for you? Uh, you mean Arakawa-san? Yeah, he totally did. If he'd called for you, he would have sent someone for you. Seems you're lacking an escort, buddy. Don't know what to tell you. He said something about how busy everyone is today, so we should just go right in. <laughs> no way. We can't just let people make that kind of claim and walk on by. Give me the name of the guy who said you could go in. I want to know their family, too. Sure. Um, what was it again? You're shady as hell, Scruffy. How about your name? What's that, huh? No name that you'd recognize, but I'm from the Arakawa family. Ain't what I asked. What's your damn name? L look, man. Stop stalling and say it! Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Dude, why not make up a name? Oops. Well, no point now. Sure. At least it's a cool-ass name. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> so, we good? It also happens to be the name of the fucker the captain shot in Kamurocho! Oh, shit. Yeah, for once, we got the numbers advantage here. You wanna take him out? Hell yeah. Rolling time! You wanna fight? Alright! This should be fun! Watch me. Oh, take this! Alright! Cool. Eyes on me. No, I yeah. wouldn't underestimate me. Bring it on. Loosen it. I got this. I have secrets too. Give me a blow. Give me a hand. There. That ought to do it. Let's get going. Isn't that the line? I don't know, man. Doesn't seem like you're gonna need the help to me. Oh, you got me there. Sitting around in this place has been killing me with boredom. I don't know about you guys, but I could use a little excitement. Let's get him, Kasuga. If they wise up and call for help, we're screwed. Huh. You think we'd do that? Not a chance in hell. Never met a problem the two of us couldn't handle by ourselves. Music to my ears. I'll take it. Something about that kind of confidence I have always respected. If I had to guess, you two were officers. Hmm. Not too far off the mark. Good eye on that one. Uh, Ichiban, something feels kind of off about them. I know. Wouldn't expect any less from the Omi Alliance HQ. About time you guys got that through your heads. Yo. I got a question for the guy rocking the eye patch. Do you now? I've heard stories about a guy from the Tojo clan they call the Mad Dog of Shimano. <laughs> and? That wouldn't happen to be you, or would it? Well, who's keeping track anymore? All I'm saying is, if that's you, 
Why the hell are you guarding the stairs of fucking Omi Alliance HQ? <laughs> so you want to keep asking questions? Well then good luck beating the answers out of us. <laughs> Talking kind of big there, aren't you, Majima? Hope you haven't gotten rusty after all that sitting around. Get out of here with that! How dare you ruin my big setup with that shit! Don't you worry, fellas. I've been itching for a fight for a long damn time! Let's go! It's Goro Majima's comeback tour! The eye patch guy's a pain in the ass already. And now he's got backup? Hey, this shit can go sideways quick. If you're feeling low, don't push through the pain. Stop and heal or just defend, okay? Now. 
Let's go! Let's go! Get up, bro! Here I come! Eyes on the prize!
was a risk. That was rough. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> I'm getting stronger. Look at me go. Yes. Strong. <laughs> oh, that's good. You guys are making this even more fun than I remember. <sighs> yeah, totally. We're all having the time of our lives. These guys are freaking monsters. You're not so weak yourselves. Perfect. Now we can stop holding back. Wait, you two were holding back that whole time? <sighs> Guys, don't let him get to you. That just means we're gonna have to step it up. That's enough. Would you all mind putting this fight on hold until tomorrow? Please, Ichi. Hey, isn't that him? Yeah. Sarakawa. <gasps> Boss! Ichi, allow me to present the sixth chairman of the Tojo clan, Daigo Dojima. Wait a second. The sixth chairman's here? Sixth chairman. This man used to be one of mine. His name's Ichiban. Ichiban Kasuga, of the Arakawa family. Loyal to the Tojo clan. I'm Daigo Dojima. I see you've met Goro Majima. And his sworn brother, Taiga Saijima. For real? You're telling me they're on our side? Oh, way to go, Sixth Chairman! Now how are we supposed to finish the fight? It was just getting good! Relax. I already said there'd be more fighting tomorrow, Majima-san. <laughs> if you were listening, you would have known that. What the hell, guys? What's up with you? We weren't planning on fighting. But we're not gonna let you hurt him this time, Arakawa. Don't worry. I... I don't plan on shooting him. That's pretty vague. Sorry, but you're gonna have to do better than that. Of course. Let me explain what I can. This way, everyone. Come with us. Hmm. Looking forward to next time. Ichiban Kasuga. Sit down, Ichi. The rest of you are welcome to take a seat as well. Okay. I can do that. So, to start, Majima, Saejima, and the chairman have all been laying low. For a while, actually. It's been two years now since the Kamurocho 3K plan. Right now, the only people who know they're in this room are also in this room. The Kamurocho 3K plan was when the young master cracked down on crime, right? Yes. And you might already know this. It only succeeded because they had intel from a Tojo clan insider. 
<clears throat> you might have heard rumors that the Insider leaked the info to Masato after he was elected governor. That Insider was myself. All right, but if the sixth chairman's not gonna speak up, I'm guessing there's more to this story? I got that right, sixth chairman? Ichibam, easy. It's fine. I'll explain. <clears throat> Patriarch Arakawa didn't betray the Tojo clan. He leaked the Tojo clan's inside information with my complete approval. The hell? At my request, Arakawa-san played the part of a scheming two-faced traitor. And ultimately that led to him having to shoot you, unfortunately. I'm sure that hasn't been easy for either of you to come to terms with. But that can't be the whole story, right? It's too easy. You've told me this much. You might as well tell me everything. Please. <laughs> well, it's not like you've left me anywhere to run. You don't mind, do you, Arakawa-san? Sounds like he's gonna make this trip worth it, Ichiban. It all started when Masato became governor. Of course, he was Ryo Aoki by then. He started pushing the Arakawa family to leak inside info, which he'd paired with his 3K plan and used it to crush the Tojo clan. At first, I refused. Then he threatened to arrest me under anti-Yakuza laws as many times as it took for my family to collapse. He threatened his own father? He did. And as I was trying to think of a solution, Sawashiro came up with one. His idea was to strike a bargain, to give up the info as long as Masato agreed to extend us government protection. At the very least, that would keep him from grinding the family into dust. <laughs> Sometimes I think Sawashiro is softer on Masato than I am. I didn't agree with him at first, and besides, it wasn't my decision to make. I laid it all out to the sixth chairman told him what Masato had asked of me, and how, if I turned down the request, he'd probably just threaten another family. Eventually, someone would give in and betray the Tojo clan. I couldn't allow that to happen. I knew the chairman would think like Masato in a way I couldn't. Not only because they're closer to each other in age, but also because he's my son. You never truly know your children. You yearn to, but in the end, they're a different generation. <laughs> How'd the sixth chairman get so popular with old fools? <laughs> You're no spring chicken yourself, you know. If Arakawa-san hadn't gone along with the plan, he would have been arrested under some false pretense. The anti-Yakuza laws are so open-ended, the government's got a vice grip on us. We've come into an age where politicians and law enforcement can use these laws to bend the Yakuza to their will. Which means, the Yakuza way of life is dead as we know it. Soon enough, the only thing a Yakuza crest will symbolize is a government slave. The Tojo clan aren't anyone's slaves. Sounds dramatic. What else do you call those so completely under the control of others? We've already had a man of some importance imprisoned for his refusal to submit. He had a subordinate who fought back against police harassment, and they found him liable as the man's superior. That was Masaru Watase, captain of the Omi Alliance, de facto leader of Japan's largest Yakuza organization. He gets out of prison tomorrow, and this headquarters will be his first stop. That's why we've gone into hiding. We know what tomorrow will bring. What? What's it gonna bring? You gonna try to do something to Watase? Don't tell me you're gonna... Attack him? No. What good would that do us? Yeah, true. But what is it then? We're going to dissolve Japan's two largest factions. The Omi Alliance and the Tojo Clan. Watase will make a public announcement of his plan to file the paperwork. Whoa! Dissolve the Omi and the Tojo? Just like that? Not just like that. Watase and I considered this carefully. 
unless Prison changed his mind. But there's no way all the current Yakuza would accept this! True. And how they react is anyone's guess. Tomorrow is going to be a day of reckoning for us all. That's why I need all the allies I can get. People I can trust completely. Ichiban, didn't Michu say the same thing to you? Ugh. <sighs> so that's how you managed to talk to Arakawa-san last night. Damn it, man. If you just had some patience, it would have gone way smoother. It's your fault for making me wait. You know how I am. And you freaking traded blows with Majima-san and Saijima-san? I just about shit my pants when I heard that. <laughs> Any other crazy-ass things you did in there? Oh, shut up. I've got enough people nagging me about it. It's nobody else's business. <sighs> okay, whatever. The fact remains Captain Watase leaves prison today. He'll make a beeline to HQ. Arakawa-san and all those Tojo officers have been waiting a long time for this. All we have to do is follow the plan. Yeah, the plan. Well, if Arakawa-san thinks it's the right move, I'll go along with it. Haniki, you gotta realize. Arakawa-san risked his life for this opportunity. Right now, we need allies who are committed. Does that describe you, Aniki? <laughs> Again with this ally crap. I said I'm on board. And so are my friends from Ijin Show. What more do you want? Talk about committed. That's my pals to a T. We finish what we start. That's a little more epic than I remember it. But we're in if Ichiban is. Well, whenever you're ready, just take a taxi to HQ. I'll come out to get you so we can avoid the disaster that was last time. See you there. Hey. Hold up there. Who's this guy again? Tendo. One of the Omi lieutenants. Yeah. I think I recognize him. From where? What you mumbling to yourself about? Spit it out. While you're at it, why are you here and how'd you even get in? Tendo. Let him through. He's my guest. Your guest, huh? But acting captain, isn't he... 
Exactly right. The man who took a bullet from my gun straight on. And now here he is, back from hell itself to see the captain released from prison. Yeah? That is real commitment. Well, if he causes any trouble, any at all, it'll be on you to clean up the mess. Agreed? It'll be fine. All right. I'll go back to trying to figure out what the hell is going down here today. Nothing to figure out except the popcorn. So you can watch the shit turn the Omi Alliance on its head. You think? Remember what you did in Eugene Show? Now it's your turn. Oh, I just realized who he is. He used to be a star heavyweight boxer. He's the loony who agreed to fix a fight for money, but when he didn't get paid, he beat the fixers to death. Oh, yeah. I remember that, too. <laughs> what a role model, huh? Captain, welcome home, sir. Here's the plan. The Omi Alliance was more or less split in half when they marched on Kamurocho. But most of the officers, the ones with tenure anyway, are still here in Sotenbori. Soon, they'll all be gathering in the HQ's banquet hall, celebrating Watase's release. But by then, Watase will already have a document in his breast pocket. The Omi Alliance of Kansai started off as the idea of a few ambitious men more than 100 years ago. In the early days, we were fierce, ready to go to war at any moment. Although we only fought against other factions, we know these wars took a heavy toll on the people here in the city we call home. For that, we are deeply sorry. Therefore, on this day, the presiding chairman does declare, and I, Captain Watase, do co-sign this official document which proclaims the Omi Alliance of Kansai is hereby dissolved. Huh? What the fuck? This we pledge to the Osaka PD. What? Why are you doing this, Captain? What are you thinking? I'm Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? The fuck's he doing here? As the Omi Alliance does, so shall we. The Tojo clan is also officially dissolved. Otase-san and I will serve as each other's witnesses as we each end our factions together. This decision was ratified by the Omi Chairman, Captain Watase, and Acting Captain Masumi Arakawa. Cut a shitty crap asses! Did Mitsu tell you that, Ichiban? Oh... Mm-hmm. Remember now? Yeah, but... I still didn't think the Tojo and Omi would just dissolve at the same time. I know. 
This is going to send shockwaves through our world, and many will oppose it. Doubtless, someone will try to start a war of succession. But we anticipated that, and built many defenses against it. Defenses? What did you have to do? The six chairman planned every last detail. Watase was involved too. He felt the same sorrow as I did about the future of Yakuza life. When we were finally forced to conclude that this is where it will all end. The problem was how do we end the largest Yakuza group in Japan peacefully? We knew that if we simply broke the news to the officers, there would have been mutiny. To make matters worse, Watase had just been thrown behind bars by way of the 3K plan. And with their leader out of sight and out of mind, one wrong move could have started a coup. Right. But then we had the idea to use the Kamurocho 3K plan in our favor. How'd you do that? We came up with two steps to implement. First, ensure the 3K plan succeeded. What the hell? To achieve that, we purposely let Arakawa-san leak the Tojo clan intel. And then Aoki drove the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho just as we knew we would. He had no idea, of course, that this was our desired outcome. <laughs> Amusing to think that he still considers it his greatest achievement. In reality, the 3K plan only worked because we allowed it to. Apparently. After that, the sixth chairman made his second request of me. I was to keep playing the role of the greedy traitor, dancing on the Tojo clan's grave. All while bringing the Omi into Kamurocho to take the Tojo clan's place. Arakawa-san's admirable efforts split the Sotenbori Omi horde right down the middle. Which leads us to Sotenbori as you see it now. Half its men stuck in Tokyo. Weakened. Spread too thin. And this was Arakawa-san's goal all along? This exact situation? Yes. And he finished it right on schedule. Watase's day of release is here. And we can make our announcement. Fuck you, Watase! You're a goddamn traitor! <laughs> I made sure this would be nice and sharp for today. I really want to test it out. Any volunteers? Damn, seeing these Tojo clan legends fighting is fucking crazy! Yeah, very impressive. These guys are all Omi officers, huh? There are still this many? Even with half of them in Kamurocho? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you sound excited. I'm not excited! We're gonna march this declaration down to Osaka PD! I know! Most of you are none too happy about it, so listen up. If you consider yourself real Yakuza, then you have to stop me by force. Good shit. I'm starting to see the big picture, Arakawa-han. Tendo? This kind of brawl? Most of us never live to see one like it. So if we're gonna make history here, you bet your ass I'm gonna take a stand with the side having the most fun. You twisting the knife on us, Tendo? <laughs> I'd much rather fight with you than against you. I'd say we're still looking pretty outnumbered here. That's the whole reason they called us, man. Finally time to step out of the shadows, huh? Look at us. We're about to have the fight of our lives just to get that point across. With the Yakuza legends at our side. Shit. Let's make it one to remember!
Gone. So he's finally back. The dragon of Dojima. Watase? How did you find him? Who, him? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's just some extra muscle. Some bodyguard I hired. Couldn't even tell you his name. Leave this part to me. You guys worry about the front line. I'll protect the back. Even if it costs me my life. <laughs> I don't know who you are. You sure know how to make an entrance. Seconds. This feast ain't over till it's over. You need to turn in, huh? You stand a chance. Watch me. Take this. So sure. Take this. You I can't cop. Get. Make yourself. You're in for it now. We're in it now! Where were it we? Good luck! Good times. Take it. <sighs> uh, 
Is that all of them? <sighs> nice. We did it. <sighs> Good luck out there, Kazuka. You're gonna do great. Hey, Ichi. Harakawa-san. Sorry for not standing up. <laughs> my body's not following my orders right now. Stop trying. You deserve to relax for once. I owe you so much. If you hadn't shown up with all your allies, things might have gone sideways. No, I didn't do anything. It was all my friends doing. <laughs> well, then you have some very good friends. A rare thing. Arakawa-san. I'm very impressed, and... So happy you've survived all this, Ichi. Arakawa-san! <laughs> Wait, wait, hold on. Does this mean you were hiding the six chairmen this whole time? Yes, that's what I've been telling you. Do you see now? Actually, I'm pretty damn confused. Well, when you have more money than you know what to do with, social connections come naturally. Even unique connections like sixth chairman Daigoku. We met under strictly professional circumstances, of course. He came to me for help after the Kamurocho 3K plan got underway. Did you hide Majima-san and Saijima-san too? Oh, yes. And can I just say, despite their formidable reputations, they were perfect gentlemen each time I spoke with them. I never thought that you, of all people, would end up rescuing them. Life is so random at times. Well, I, I wouldn't say I rescued them. I just lent them a little muscle, that's all. Of course, then I got lost in the fun of the fight. <laughs> the fight of a lifetime. You are a Kawa fan, you. Well, you really love him, huh? <laughs> With all my soul. And we're meeting up later today. Call it a date, I guess. Oh, how romantic. Well, you'll have to dish about it later. Sure thing. Clear your schedule. I can talk about him for days. I'm sorry to bail on you, Ichi. I know we made our plans first, but... I've known Chairman Hoshino 40 years now. 
It'd be impolite to turn him down. Well, I get it, boss. Totally get it. When there's a shot at Peking Duck and Heian Tower, you take it. Well, it's kind of silly of me to invite you to a meal in the first place. I know that. <laughs> Kasuga, I'm not a boss anymore. Just a regular old man. I don't give a damn who I eat with. <laughs> Well, is Sotenbori all quiet now with the Omi Alliance dissolved? People don't know how to react. Not the civilians, and certainly not the Yakuza. The former Yakuza. <laughs> but I guess it's only natural when a hundred-year-old institution just disappears. Any Omi guys rioting or anything? No, even if they did, it wouldn't change anything. Even when they had real strength, they didn't manage to stop us from submitting the papers. And they've only waned since then. Hate to say it, but their reputation's in the toilet. We don't need to dunk their faces in the bowl, too. We'll just let it be. Did you really know it would all happen this way? No, we just did the best we could. And this is how the chips fell. I can't tell the future any more than the next man. Well, you had me fooled. Really seemed like you saw it all coming. <laughs> I'm sure Masato's in a rage right now. <laughs> he must be losing his mind. All his plans hinged on the Omi's support, and I just pulled the rug out from under him. I never could help myself from giving in to his desires if he threw a fit. <laughs> it's been true since he was a toddler. <laughs> I'd always hoped he'd grow out of temper tantrums. <laughs> Some things between a father and son never change. But I can't afford to go easy on him anymore. No? He isn't aware that well before he was governor, the sixth chairman and what the said were considering dissolution. By the time he pressured me to sell out the Tojo clan, all that did was accelerate their plan. <sighs> now Masato knows what growing power tastes like. If I don't stop him before it grows too large for his throat, he'll choke on it. He'll lose everything. Everything he's built. I... I just don't want to see that happen. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> I should get going. Boss! Hmm? Earlier, you said you don't have a title anymore. So, what's your plan from here on out? What are you gonna do? The Sixth Chairman and Watase knew that once their factions were gone, many of their men would lose their way with no Yakuza path to follow. That's happening now. So, they want to find some legal means to take in these wandering souls who have nowhere else to go. I'd like to help them with that task. I see. Guess you do have total freedom to do whatever now, huh? Yes. <laughs> and the only thing I'm wondering is how am I going to kill the time? I think this is how every businessman must feel when he retires. <laughs> Can I go back to being in the Arakawa family? Ichi... Are you...? It's just... When I was working in your family, it was the happiest time of my life. I felt that way ever since you rescued me at 16. I mean it. But how can you still... After I sent you to prison in Masato's place... For 18 years, 
after lying to you that it was for the family. Well, I accepted that when I went. And then, after all that you did, I shot you. You only did that to give me a chance to keep living. No. All the chances you needed were inside you. Your own strength kept you alive. The truth is, I've never helped you at all. Not even once. You should hate me for all the things I've done. Why don't you? Fine, if you really want to beat yourself up about it. Then please let me back in the family with you. a soap land called Shangri-La, weren't you? Yeah. So I've been told. It's a hell of a story. One that's never sat well with me. Huh? I dream about it, you know. You dream about it? Yeah. I dream that it's 40 years ago, on that cold New Year's Eve night. Akan is there, and she's about to give birth to her baby. She gives birth in Shangri-La. In the dream, it's Masato who ends up being born in that soap land. No, oh, come on. This is embarrassing. Nothing to be embarrassed about. You've got a good heart, and you're doing the best you can. It doesn't matter where you were born. Thank you, sir. I'm curious. Did you ever want to find your parents? Uh, good question. I don't really know. At this point, I've gotten pretty used to not knowing them. You've gone through a lot. Not that I have any right to speak to you about it. Well, no point in dwelling on a dream. That's all it is, right? I can go the rest of the way from here. See you tomorrow, Ichi. Ichiban Kasuga. I like messages, so leave me one. This is Hoshino of the Serio clan. Kasuga, you need to call me as soon as you get this. This morning, they found Arakawa's body in the ocean.
After he had dinner with my patriarch last night, Masumi Arakawa left Heian Tower alone. So he must have been shot on his way home. Any idea who did it? I put my money on an Omi loyalist. Pretty sure I'd win that bet, too. Hell, there were shootings in Sotenbori, too. Attempts on Captain Watase and Daigo Dojima. Are they okay? Yeah. Apparently, they had some ex-Tojo legends with them. Can't ask for better bodyguards than that. No kidding. And yeah, that does point to Omi retaliation. Uh-huh. You and your pals should be careful, since you were on the Dissolution's front lines. The Remnants will have a bone to pick with you. Yeah, that's for sure. I'll pass on the advice. I can't believe this shit anymore. The Omi wiped off the face of the Earth, all because of the stupid Arakawa family. Idiots blew up their own inheritance. Their betrayal cannot stand, Sawashiro-san. Remember how we used to be sister families with the Tojo clan? We had bases in Kanto and everything. Of course, the only reason we helped Arakawa-san push the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho in the first damn place was so our family would survive too. Because we're sick and tired of the Tojo demanding tribute money just to let us keep land we'd already been living on for years. If that had kept up, we would have been crushed, just like any other family without their own territory in Tokyo. That's why we work with Arakawa in spite of it being disloyal to the Tojo. Exactly. And who's going to keep any of the promises Arakawa made? He promised once he was at the top of the Omi Alliance, he would promote us to the main family. Are we just supposed to accept that won't happen now? Listen, you whiners, quit your belly aching. I won't let the Omi Alliance die. We'll just give it a new name. My Kanto Senpai. I know we've caused a real shit show for you, but I promise we'll pay you back in full someday. And for now, all of us are asking your forgiveness. Well, just so you know, it's not like we're asking to cut ties to the Arakawa family. We'd like to keep things friendly, if that's possible. Of course! After all, it was Arakawa who was the brains behind the betrayal. And now that he's gone, I'd say the score is settled. If you need us, our door is wide open for you. Second patriarch of the Arakawa family. Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> you think the score's settled? You backwater scumbags don't deserve to be called Yakuza. Excuse me? You want to repeat that? Sawashiro. You fuck! I can get the Arakawa family back on its feet without you. Easily, in fact. 
All I have to do is unite the Omi already here in the east. You're way out of line. Arakawa fucked up. His captain should be on his knees right now. <laughs> Stop! What are you doing? You know, guys like you are all bark and no balls when it's wartime. That's the kind of Yakuza I can't fucking stand. Only a few years ago, you were sucking up to the Tojo clan. Then Arakawa changed his colors, and there you were at his feet. Now he's dead, and you think you can pull the senpai card on me? Talk is cheap. The Yakuza way to lead is with bloodshed. The weak always fall in line behind the strong. Help me! Time to accept it. Among the men in this room, you represent the weak, and that goes for all of you! I fully intend to start a new chapter for the Yakuza as the Tokyo Omi Alliance. I hope we can count on your support. Senpai. What makes you think you have any right to pull that shit? You haven't known me very long, but I think I've made a pretty strong case here for what I'm capable of. <laughs> Convince me. I'm not the type of Yakuza who's gonna sit on his hands after his patriarch got removed. What's your point? Right now, I don't know if it was you or some other Kansai punk, but I will gut the man who killed him. You have my word on that. There will be no mercy. The fuck are you saying? Every thug out there on the street knows that you killed your boss under Hauke's orders. You think picking a fight with me is your ticket to the big time? You see yourself as the guy on top at the dawn of a new age for the Yakuza. That ain't gonna fly. Sure. I'll give you until I've rounded up all the stragglers in Tokyo to make your move. Until then, keep sucking on the Omi's dried up teats. Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. <sighs> All right then. Let's go, yellow shit. That's your phone, man. This is Hoshino. Sherman. You okay? 
Yeah, I guess. You don't sound okay. You eating well? Uh, no. Then start. A poor diet won't help with the grief. Meet me at Heian Tower. What for? That's the last place I saw Arakawa-san. I'll treat you to what he ate as his final meal. Uh, thanks, but right now I... Just be there. Fine. I'll be waiting. Chairman Hoshino wants to meet? Yeah, at Heion Tower. Are you going? Yeah. Maybe he'll tell me about Arakawa-san's last moments. I want you to know, last night, Arakawa seemed at peace. Like an actor stepping off stage to thunderous applause. I think that's because he achieved his goals. He dissolved the Omi, and he got to see you again. He certainly looked like he was enjoying his Peking duck. I commented on it, actually. Can you believe this? He said he'd never had it before. What? He said he almost got to try it 50 years ago, but then... his father was killed. And he'd never gotten around to ordering it again. Huh? After we finished, I said I'd walk him to his hotel, but he refused the offer. Said he wanted time alone to just take in the night air. I didn't push it. I just bid him a good evening and left. But if I had pushed it... He'd probably be alive right now. I failed him. No, it's not your fault. Let me ask you something. Do you think it was only loyalists? Yes. No doubt in my mind. It was revenge for his role in dissolving the Omi. Men who saw fit to end someone's life over such a thing. How could Yakuza do that? Kill a captain like him? 
Kasuga. The Omi loyalists in Kanto are already attempting to form a new faction. They complain the loudest about the dissolution. I imagine one of them is the likely culprit. Forming a new faction? After killing Arakawa's son? Yes. Care to hazard a guess as to who is directing them? Because I think it's the one man who could actually bring them to heel. Ryo Aoki. No. A young master? Ordering the death of his own father? He wouldn't be the first to commit patricide for power. The one silver lining is, with Arakawa gone, there's very few men Aoki can give direct orders to. Kasuga, you should take revenge for Arakawa. I can lend you men from the Seiryu clan. I don't need guns. You won't seek vengeance? No. Arakawa-san wouldn't want me to kill the young master. I'm sure of that. Then... What will you do? Before he died, Arakawa talked about how sad it was the Yakuza were getting used. Used like pawns by people in power. That's why he disbanded the Omi. I think he wanted the Yakuza to go back to their roots. Like how they ought to use their power to help the weak and vulnerable, not just take shit by force. That's how it was. That's how it could be again. Arakawa-san had a dream, and I can continue it. If all I do is kill one guy, especially if it's his son, all of Arakawa's sacrifices will be for nothing. If that's the only thing I do to honor him, I won't be able to face him in the afterlife. <sighs> what I really want to do is open the young master's eyes. Give him a wake-up call. Smack him upside the head if I have to. That's the best thing I could do. Kasuga, Arakawa was truly blessed to have you. Do what you think is right. I'm sorry if my idea of payback offended you in any way. I assure you it did not, Chairman. How do you plan on getting an audience with Aoki? You can't just walk into the Tokyo government office and ask to see the governor. <laughs> It's all good. I think I've got something figured out. You can pull a plan out of your ass just like that, huh? <laughs> Still, going anywhere near Aoki will mean tight security. Take some of my men. At the very least, I'll bring your body back. I appreciate the offer, really. But I'll be fine by myself. I've already got the best crew I could ask for. Jeez, you waited for me? How'd it go? Fine. Sorry to run off and get treated to a fancy meal without you guys. Well, looks like it put some pep back in you. Yeah, I figure if I keep moping around, Arakawa-san's gonna come down and kick my ass. But anyway, how about we go visit Kume? Visit Kume? Why? To make him arrange a meeting. I want to meet with Aoki, and Kume's got the hookup. Seeing as he's Ogasawara's replacement. Sure, but why do you... I'm going to get him to start thinking and doing things like Arakawa-san would have wanted. Uh, sounds like a long shot. What makes you think Kume will cooperate with you? Oh, did I leave out the part where we rough him up? I mean, 
The guy deserves it. Hell yeah, he does. I'm in. Get out the bloodhounds and let's start the search. No search required. Today is announcement day. What's that? The deadline for every candidate to submit their paperwork. The political brawl has begun. Man, do you know everything? The fate of the Great Wall hangs on this election. Why wouldn't I be following it closely? Do you know where Kume would be on announcement day? Well, each candidate will give their first speech in their district, usually on a huge stage. Kume's district, Kanagawa second, has a massive stage by the gate on Isazaki Road. Let's head over to Isazaki Road then. Earlier, some lady and I got into it when we were on the escalator. Really? Why? Oh, you were standing on the left side, weren't you? Yes. How'd you know? Was that wrong? Yeah, unlike Kanto, Kansai people stand on the right, so you were probably in her way. That would explain it. Why do Kanto and Kansai have to be so different? Anyone know which side people from Chubu stand on? Hmm. Couldn't tell you. Just... Don't stand in the middle. Why don't we stop by Nagoya on the way back and find out? You're only saying that because you're hungry for Kishima noodles. Not necessarily. I just want a change of pace. Don't lie. You had noodles on the brain. Hey, what were we talking about again? <sighs> Nothing important, apparently.
いらっしゃい。ありがとうね。Starting to agree with the guy. Come on, what he's saying is a load of crap. No matter how drunk everyone is on Bleach Japan Jungle Juice, that kind of drunk can mess you up as bad as my kind. Tragic way, Kume is just another name on Aoki's long list of victims. Hmm. Our enemies don't deserve our sympathy. Good point. Let's get him. Hey, mind letting us through? Use us. Hey, you can't just barge in here. Oh, sorry, sir. Could you just let us? Don't I know you? Yeah, you were a bodyguard in the parking lot. He's not the only guy we've seen before. There's a bunch of Omi here. Well, look at that. You saved me the trouble of tracking you down. Time to pay for that shit you pulled in the parking lot! You do I'm not big on bullying, but... Watch me. Take this! You sure you want Try to... this! Give uh... take your best! You're... Fear, did you? Well, not today. I doubt this was the only speech Kume's giving today. Where's he going right now? His campaign stops and stuff are listed on his website. The more people, the better. 
But I can promise you ain't getting close to Kume. Will he not talk to regular people? No. But don't worry, he's gonna win. Governor's orders. All y'all's been blacklisted as threats. You better get ready for the takeover. Boys, than I can count are rolling on over here to Injincho. Whole place will be swarmed. You won't be able to take a shit without us knowing. Fuckers! Aoki's always one step ahead of us. <laughs> I certainly am. I realize there's no precedent for a governor to intervene in national politics. But there's never been a precedent any time we advanced as a society. What about your critics who say you're just too young? That national politics is no place for schoolyard debates? <laughs> Are they implying local politics is some kind of playground? No, I don't think they're saying that. How about we take another look at the survey results? 80% of respondents said they support Governor Aoki assuming the role of party chair. The principal reason for their support was the success of the Kamrocho 3K plan. Do you have any comments about that, Aoki-san? I couldn't have achieved the amazing results of the 3K plan without the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. That was how cooperation between law enforcement and local government should look. What about the Yakuza still in Kamurocho after the Tojo clan's collapse? There are rumors that a delegation of Kansai Yakuza have filled the void. By Kansai Yakuza, do you mean the Omi Alliance? Because I recently heard that they are officially dissolved. Yes, that is confirmed. But doesn't that in fact prove something else? Doesn't it prove we can reduce Yakuza activity without a risky policy like the Kamurocho 3K plan? It's not a risky policy. Not compared to the risks of letting Yakuza run free. I'm sure you've also heard that Masumi Arakawa, an officer who spearheaded the dissolution, was murdered. So you see, it may seem like this was a peaceful process, but I think it was anything but. As always, the underworld keeps hidden its dark, unseemly truth. On the other hand, the Kamurucho 3K plan didn't involve any murder at all. My plan was the perfect example of a peaceful process, accomplished with my expertise from Bleach Japan. Speaking of which, the Citizens Liberal Party is endorsing quite a number of Bleach Japan candidates this cycle. As party chair, what are your priorities? I want to rejuvenate the Citizens Liberal Party. The Bleach Japan candidates are young and brimming with energy. By harnessing that energy, I know we can bleach all the gray zones in this entire nation. This bastard's using Arakawa's death to win an election, after all but pulling the trigger himself. It's disgusting. Just when I thought I couldn't hate politicians anymore, he gives me a reason. Guys, remember the mission. Kume's going to give another speech somewhere, so what do we do? Well, judging by how it went down here, we won't be able to lay a finger on him. Sounds like you're in a tight spot. Chairman? So... You figured your best path to Aoki was just to scare the shit out of Kume? <laughs> Guilty as charged. But they're always one step ahead of us. Anyway, what are you doing here? I forgot to give you something back at Heian Tower. Huh?
Can't think of what that be. What is it? Kazuga, did you already forget the task you entrusted to me? The task I... Oh! Finding a candidate! Yes. Remember the whole point of collecting all that money to make Kume lose? Yeah, did you find someone? Someone who can win? Well, I searched far and wide. But you didn't find anyone. But then, all of a sudden, it hit me. Yeah? Lay it on me. Kasuga, you should run. What? I only wish I'd thought of it earlier. Wait just a second, back it up. Why the hell should it be me? I don't have a snowball's chance in hell of winning this. True. I doubt you'd even get enough votes to qualify for the return of your registration deposit. So why would you want to flush three million down the drain? Now the money doesn't matter. It does to me! Three million yen is a deal if it gives us a chance to catch Kume. I'm not really following, Chairman. In every election, the candidates drive around in their trucks giving speeches. The district's not that big, so they frequently run into each other. And when they do, it's customary for them to wish each other luck and shake hands. It's a farce, of course, but it's custom. That's your chance to get close to him. So if I run in the election, I can walk right up to Kume. Compared to Kume, you'd be a nobody. What they call a fringe candidate. Since Kume's victory is assured, he'll be expected to be a good sport. That includes not turning you down for a handshake if you ask for one. He can't just say no? If he did, everyone would say he acted like an arrogant jerk to the underdog. Bad press spreads quickly. And public opinion changes with the wind. You see how perfect it is? This is how you corner Kume. See, your original plan was to make Kume lose. But now the plan is just to use him as a stepping stone, correct? Uh, aren't you guys forgetting something? Ichiban did hard time. For murder. It doesn't matter what's on your record. Once you've served your term, you can run. What do you say, Kasuga? Mm. I wish I could tell you to take your time and think it over, but time is a luxury you don't have. The deadline to announce your candidacy is today. You have to decide right now. Then, I'll do it! Seriously? Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's sane, but... Then hurry to the election office and get your paperwork done. It's the government, so naturally they close pretty early. Wait, what time is it? Holy shit, guys, we gotta hurry! Let's run! Where's the election office, anyway? In the Nishihama building on Carriage Highway. Thanks! <sighs> hey.
not gonna happen. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Thank you. <laughs> Take care.
told our bartender I was growing plants, and he said if I brought him in, he could make me something cool. Oh, uh, yeah, I bet. That guy's a bottomless well of hidden talents. <clears throat> Don't surprise me at all. In fact, I bet if you bring him some flowers, he could whip up some really fancy bouquets. Uh, feel like a bento? You just bring that guy the ingredients, he'll box it up for you. He even taught himself how to blend traditional Chinese medicine out of crazy herbs and shit. Let me tell you, <clears throat> works wonders. Uh, I don't know about that. I prefer to know what's going into the medicine I take. <laughs> Just take my word for it. Let him work his magic. Yeah, you're right. Let's see what he can do. Elections are the cornerstone of a just and fair democracy for all. Running for office as a publicity stunt is trembling all over that. And yet, Ichiban Katsuga, an ex-Yakuza who served 18 years in prison for murder, has, for his own personal gain, decided to taint this sacred election with his candidacy. It's a sick joke! Listen to that. Sounds like he got the jump on you. Uh, you think? Strange that his campaign caught wind of the plan. But they're definitely trying to ensure you won't ever get near him. How? The whole reason Kume would have been obligated to shake your hand was because you were going to be the brave, noble underdog. But now he's trying to paint you as a villain, so he won't need to show you any respect. Oh, I get it. Well then, you know what? It's time to clear my name. Excuse me, everyone. Thank you for the introduction. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Hey, there he is. Turn the cameras on him. Seriously? A murderer? Running for office? Can you believe it? It's ridiculous. You heard it. He's a murderer. I gotta hand it to my opponent here. He's such a generous guy. He's basically advertising for me. A total unknown. Can't wait to check my campaign's followers after this. Thank you so much, Kume-san. This is exactly what I was talking about, folks. He's got nothing but sarcasm and one-liners. Why won't this ex-convict take our democracy seriously? Ex-convict? You trying to say someone who broke the law can't run? That I've lost the right? Naturally! Well, it's true. I was in prison for 18 years. But the law says anyone can run, no matter what crimes they've committed. I'm standing here because my application was accepted. If you deny my right to run, then who's really disrespecting the law here? That be you, right, Mr. Law and Order? I, uh, never said... I never said anything about the law. Oh, so you're admitting the laws aren't always so perfect. I... well, in this case, it's strange, isn't it? Bleach Japan loves going around telling the rest of us to follow the law. But how do we follow laws that aren't just? Isn't that kind of a paradox? Well, laws are what you need to... Are you asking all these fine people to just accept that paradox? In this case, we must! I see. Well, that sounds like a gray zone to me. <laughs> Kume-san, people don't want to break the law. They really don't. But just like the law ain't perfect, neither are humans. They both exist in gray zones. Part good, part bad. <laughs> I mean, just one little mistake can send you down a slippery slope. It happened to me. I made a mistake that led me to this city. Luckily, I was rescued from that mistake, but not by the law. I was rescued by the people who live in the gray zones. And man, they didn't ask for that life. 
They got the raw end of a deal. They were never given a real choice. They want to be proud, hard-working members of society, as much as anyone in this crowd. They know the law is important. I do too. But we also know some things are more important. <laughs> people don't exist to serve the law. The law exists to serve the people. We ought to remember the words in that order. Don't you think, Kume-san? Kasuga knows what he's talking about. He's got my vote. Yeah, I like it. Go Ichiban! He's telling it like it is! Give him hell, Ichiban! We're with ya! Where do I donate to Team Kasuga? Screw that Kume guy! He's elitist! Kume-san, I think we can have a healthy debate in this campaign. Let's do this election fair and square. Why don't I come over there so we can shake on it? Yeah? Retreat! Retreat! Wait, what's the problem? Kume-san, you were in the middle of your speech! Wait, Kume-san! In a strange turn, this impromptu debate has ended with Kume, the frontrunner, making a quick retreat. The former Yakuza, ex-felon candidate, Ichiban Kasuga, has been generating buzz on social media. Useless! Kume, the staff, and even you are all useless! The only reason this happened is because you neglected to take it seriously. Enlighten me, Sawashiro. Why are you acting so strange? Got something to report? For now, we've decided to reorganize under a provisional name. The Tokyo Omi Alliance. We have sufficient manpower and resources. So I'll be assigning titles to... I'm sorry, are you under the impression you're the chairman or something? Huh? No. You had power in the Arakawa family, but I can assure you, it wasn't because you were competent. Kiss enough ass, anyone can get a promotion like you did. You haven't had a spine since the days when you were following me around like a lost dog. I've taken pity on you because we had a history, but enough is enough. The new Tokyo Omi Alliance needs a chairman who understands how to wield power. Well, that's what I am. A bold claim. I'll give you 24 hours to prove it by killing this man. What? If you fail, well, I assume you know the consequences. Yep. <laughs> What's up?
Yep. <laughs> Listen. still hasn't noticed us. Musun <laughs> Idiji? Moragu? Your support means everything. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yo. <laughs> it's Kasuka. The other candidate, Ichiba Kasuga, is here! Get cameras on him! There might be another debate! Kasuga, will you continue yesterday's debate? No, I think Kume-san took enough damage yesterday. I actually came to make peace with him. Why would we ever make peace? Hey, it's hard to talk in front of all these cameras, you know? Wanna talk in private? That'll be way better. Let's just hop into your van here. Nice ride, by the way. Okay, okay, give him some space. Kasuga-san. Yeah? Chairman Hoshino's life is in danger. Huh? The Komiju got an anonymous tip that the Seryu clan is going to be attacked. Chairman Hoshino is the target. And Song Hui said there's something suspicious happening at the Seryu clan. The chairman? Why him? I think we need to put a hold on the Kume and Aoki mission. Yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> what? Hey, are we done with Kume already? Something's going down. It's urgent.
Captain Takabe! Kasuga. You shot! It was the Omi Alliance. About ten of them. One had a gun. They're looking for the Patriarch. They're going to kill him. His office is a ways up from here, right? Yes. Hurry. Please. Finally, you make your entrance. The Omi Alliance. Where's the chairman? Huh. Give the boys a sec. They're still cleaning up. What's that mean? Don't fuck with me, you assholes! Captain, show me what you've got. Watch me. Get a lot of this. Are you sure you want to get hurt? Cool. Time to call a friend. I summon you. You want sudden death for sudden service with a mountain. Thanks for calling Pound me. I got this. I'll show you. Let's go. Where will it land? Let's go. It's go time. Yes, he is the feast. Going up. <laughs> yes. Moving up in the world. You killed the chairman? You were late every damn time. Any job I sent you on, the smallest errand. Why, though? Why would you kill the chairman? This will be the end of the E. Jean 3. He was a tired old man who served as the Grey Zone's pillar. And that pillar supported Ijincho. Without him, it'll crumble unless we intervene. The young master agrees. Why are you two like this? Why are you so paranoid? You've already won pretty much everything, and you still had to kill the chairman in cold blood? Why would Ryo Aoki need to do this when he's already on top of the world? What if I told you it was your fault? What? Hey, Ichiban. 
Ichiban! Forget it. You know how important it is to the young master that he wins this district, but you got in his way. A felon like you suddenly decides to make a run for the seat. He doesn't like being defied. Especially not by the likes of you. Sounds to me like you're scared I could win. <laughs> Are you kidding? Not in a million years. Why else would you need to kill Chairman Hoshino? You know him. He doesn't even like to be inconvenienced. So how do you think he feels about this? Well then why didn't you just kill me? Oh, I would have preferred that. But your campaign has drawn so much attention. I guess you could call it a timing issue if you need a reason. So you killed the chairman in my place? Yes. The e Gene 3 was the machine keeping you on life support. If pulling the trigger on you would make too big of a splash, we figured pulling the plug out of the wall would be the next best thing. Every time I think the young master couldn't sink any lower, he proves me wrong. What the fuck is his problem? What made him turn out to be such a bastard? I'm sure the both of us mean nothing to him. So why would he have to go so far just to crush garbage like me under his foot? What satisfaction do you two get from watching me break? Tell me what any of this is for! <laughs> is Arakawa-san's death your fault too, you fucking coward? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Doesn't really matter now, does it? So we're zero! Out a weapon. Yeah, but is it really something to worry about? Me last time, didn't you? Yeah, but it was probably just luck. Either that or he wasn't really trying. And you don't know Captain Sawashiro like I do. Holding a weapon really amps him up. Uh, so this is gonna be a tough fight any way you slice it. For sure. I mean, he's a captain under Arakawa the Assassin. So everyone be careful. Got it. Well... You sure you want to get hurt? I got this. I'll show you. Where will it land? Let's go. Let's go. I wouldn't invest in it. Alive. That all you've got. Hold it together. Okay. Don't get cocky. Let's rock. <sighs> oh, why me? Come on, take your best shot.
This'll do. Thanks, Thank you. That all you got? Cool. I wouldn't underestimate me. That'll be good. This is bad. Huh? Don't get caught. You sure you can beat me? Come on. Pain in the ass. It's go time. Take your shot. Take your shot. That all you got? What the heck kind of move was that? A way more powerful one than I thought. It's based on a Western martial art. Since when do you know martial arts, dude? Since always. The reason I fought with an umbrella was because I got the idea from an old martial arts book. And is the captain using the same fighting style right now? Yeah. Actually, watching him is really teaching me a lot that I didn't understand in the book. Damn. How many different martial arts does the captain know? I think we're about to find out. <laughs> Makes me feel like a wimp. I am not happy. All clear! Thanks, yo. Get alive. This sucks. Take your best shot. <sighs> My huh? fight is on. Gotta <laughs> hold it together. You're in for it now. Get alive. I'll do my best. Gotta do something. You sure you can beat me? This sucks. Don't get caught. Take your best shot. You sure you want to get cocky? You sure you can beat me?
You wanna go? Come on. My bet by go is on. It's go time. Take care of that. Anything normal about this to begin with. Man, this guy is savage as hell. Yeah, he's pulling out all the stops. You've got to stay on your toes, everyone. Alive. Go! 
Okay, cock. Much better. Appreciate it. Let's go. Well. Shiro, I knew, would never just blindly follow orders. Not even the young masters. There's no excuse in the world that could justify killing Arakawa-san! Yes, there is. To me, the young master's orders are law. My life's purpose is to protect him. My life's purpose was to protect Arakawa-san! I know that. I know that all too well. Captain. And just so you know, I didn't kill Arakawa-san. Huh? I thought the young master ordered you to, because of me! He did order me to. What? But that was the only time I ever disobeyed one of his orders. 
I couldn't kill Masumi Arakoa. I can't explain it, but even as low as I've fallen, that was the one order I couldn't follow. How could I? Because you couldn't put aside your respect for Arakawa-san. Oh, you think a Yakuza can't take out his own patriarch? No. That wasn't it. No? The real reason was... And I've never told this to anyone. Not even the young master. So why are you telling me? Just listen. The first time I saw Masumi Arakawa was only a short while before I swore my oath to him. I was 15. Just a dumb kid with no direction, no future. Back when I was getting into fights on the streets of Kamurocho, I had no money. All I had waiting for me at home was my drunk father's fists. The only people I could trust were the other guys who also had nothing. My girl was... <laughs> I can't even remember her name. Anyway, we shacked up and played house even though we didn't really think it would last. By the time she told me she was pregnant with our child, it was too late for an abortion. What are we gonna do? We can't raise a kid. There's no way in hell. All we could do was pray she'd have a miscarriage. We just ignored her growing stomach, going about life pretending it wasn't there. No hospital visits or anything like that. But of course, you can't ignore an actual baby. She ended up giving birth in a department store bathroom. All on her own. I was working at the time. Laying asphalt, as I recall. What now? Just pretend it didn't happen. Brush it under the rug. That's what you do with secrets. That's how we dealt with stuff our whole lives. Who was there to teach us any other way? No one. Which is why... We're going to hell, aren't we? I know it. Why are you saying that? Nothing happened, okay? It's chilly out. Let's go home. <laughs> no, I can't do this. I'm going back. Are you serious? It's over. Just forget about it. Stop! We took care of it! Let me go! Fuck! What? Damn it! Open you piece of shit! Open! That's the locker we... Does he know? Why else would he try to open it? Did he hear the baby in there? He had to, right? This... 
This is my job. Well, this might work out. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that guy will look after him. I don't understand. This is a gift, right? It's for the best. Hey, are you okay? Oh, damn it! So, Arakawa-san took your baby? That means... Shit! That baby was... Masato Arakawa. The young master. The young master... is your son? The boss told you about that night, didn't he? New Year's Eve. His woman was being chased by the Hikawa family. They decided to hand off the baby using a locker. How could they have known that there would be another baby in the same row of lockers? What were the chances? So you see how it happened? Arakawa followed the sound of a baby's cries and pried open the locker. Five years later, the mother of my child was out of my life. But Masumi Arakawa... He was still in Kamarocho. With my son. Why is that? Huh? That kid. I did some research on the man. Arakawa started his own Yakuza family at a pretty young age. So he was gaining some notoriety already. I found out a lot. Like how the kid in the chair had never been able to walk. Because of severe hypothermia he'd suffered when he was born. Enough, Masato. Why me? Why am I the only one who can't walk? Everyone else can. It's not fair. I heard those words. And I swear they echoed in my head for months. Even if I'd never had a son, the Yakuza path was my fate. It always had been. I've been living my life half-assed for so long. Are you sure you want this? There's no turning back once you've sworn an oath. I'm sure. But suddenly I saw another way. I could swear an oath to Masumi Arakawa. Okay. Then drink. <laughs> Arakawa the Assassin was his nickname then. He didn't fuck around. I get it now. I get why you swore loyalty to Arakawa. It wasn't because he was the legendary Arakawa the Assassin. That's what drew everyone else to Arakawa. But you swore your oath to be near the young master. Does he know any of this? I told you, this is a secret I've never told anyone before. Honestly, I thought I would take it to my grave. And then why did you tell me? Because there's something I want to ask you. Me? Okay, shoot. 
Didn't you notice there's one crucial detail missing from that locker story? Crucial detail? Use your head. If Arakawa-san took my son out of the locker, then where is his real son? Uh, yeah, good point. The boss said his woman's name was Akane. And before he met her, she'd been working at a soap land called Shangri-La. Shangri-La? Seriously? That's where I was born. Yes. So take this next part with a grain of salt. But here's my theory. On that night, New Year's Eve, Akane called Arakawa-san to tell him she was being hunted. She knew they'd find her at the maternity ward, so she left. But as soon as she did, she went into labor. She desperately needed to find a place to have her baby, where she wouldn't be found. So I think she may have gone to her old workplace, Shangri-La. And, as you just said, that's where you were born, correct? But that... You're making it sound like I... It can't be. After the boss took the young master out of the locker, I saw another baby. You did? Long after all the fuss died down, she and I just stood there. We were shocked. Our doomed child had been saved. And now we had to just move on. I have to admit I felt relieved. But... I couldn't see why a Yakuza had been so desperate to save a baby. Sure, maybe he'd heard it crying. But why the desperation? And he didn't even call for help. It was such a fucking mystery, it gave me a headache. But a few minutes later, I got my answer. Boss, is it one of these? Yes, hurry! Open up every single one that isn't locked. Okay, I'm on it. What are they doing? I don't know. I hope to hell it wasn't this one. <sighs> He's not here. Oh! Gotcha! Boss! Over here! I found him! You sure it's him? Wait. No. If he's still here... That can only mean the handoff didn't go as planned. Another baby? What should we do? Take him to the police? No. I need to hold on to him for a while. In case Akane comes back for him. You think she's gonna make it? She said her life was in danger. It was at that moment I realized... The other man had taken the wrong baby. You took... the wrong baby. <laughs> After putting you in the locker, Akane-san kept running. Right up until the Hikawa family caught her. I think that while she was on the run, she told someone she could trust about her baby in the locker. Just in case. I didn't recognize the two people that came to pick up the other baby. But if one of them was Jiro Kasuga, your foster father, owner of that soap land, then you're Masumi Arakawa's son. Sh shut up, man. There's no way. But isn't there? 
A DNA test would be a simple way to find out. Without a test, you'll never know for sure. <gasps> or if you think I'm talking out of my ass, just walk away. Forget I told you. Hell no. You think I'm going to just let you walk away after you killed the Seiryu clan's chairman? Do what you will to me. I had no future then. I have no future now. Why not? Ryoaki told me to kill Arakawa, and I refused. He clearly already decided I was disposable when he gave me this hit. Take out a chairman. Aoki wasn't expecting me to come out of this alive. All I am to him now is a third-rate hitman. My success or failure hardly matters. But then... I need you to answer me, Captain. If you didn't kill Arakawa-san, who did? I don't know for sure. But maybe Lieutenant Nishioda. He's the young master's favorite peon now, since Arakawa-san is dead. Arakawa-san's death is on Ishioda then. Sawashiro, I still can't let you walk away. As much as I'd like to kill you myself, you need to pay for your sins the legit way. Pay for my sins? The legit way? <laughs> That's not the way I've led my life. What's up? I found out who gave us the tip about Chairman Hoshino being in danger. It was Sawashiro himself. What the hell? Why would he give himself away? To venture a guess, I don't think Sawashiro actually wanted to kill the chairman. What? I believe he was hoping you would stop him, Kasuga-san. <gasps> but he couldn't say that outright, because it would have been betraying Aoki. So instead, he leaked his plan to kill Chairman Hoshino, and left his fate in your hands. But that means we failed. We didn't stop him. Shit. You always made such impossible demands of me, Captain. God damn it!
It was at that moment I realized the other man had taken the wrong baby. Then, you're Masumi Arakawa's son. Yeah. I dream that it's 40 years ago. On that cold New Year's Eve night, Agan is there. And she's about to give birth to her baby. She gives birth in Shangri-La. In the dream, it's Masato who ends up being born in that soap land. Did Arakawa son know I was his son all along? Hey, what's going on with you, man? Everyone's worried. I am too. Don't be. I just gotta settle something. What? With who? Ryo Aoki. Who else? But how? We don't even know where he is. Don't get Kume to tell me. Where is the bastard? He'll know! Okay, okay. My guess is he's probably giving a speech somewhere. Maybe he's at the Bleach Japan office? Yeah. Most likely the Hakuryo building. So that's where I'm going. But really? Well, uh, we're going too then. We were just gonna call you. They're all Omi Alliance men. Not that they'll admit it. Are they just staring at us? Yeah, and more of them keep showing up. I don't like this. Yeah, I don't think they like us much either. Great. Then we all want the same thing. Hey, we're leaving! Let's just stay out of each other's way! Yo, if you want to just sit there, go for it. But I'm coming through! <laughs> nice. We're skipping right to the good part. Well? Quit gawking and bring it on already! I'll show you how it's done. Watch me. Don't get cocky! I've got this yet!
Okay. よ、新入り。勘拾いだな。the mark. Street 
the cleaner already. もう少し一人前だな。よ、新入り。たくさん買ってけよ。All right, I'm up. I believe I'm gonna... I'll show you how... Let them feast! Your blood is redder than kimchi! Offer it the flap around your guts! This one. Yeah. Stir Hills Cauldron Hot Pot Party. Where you go? Now, get jacked. What's on the menu, bro? Tonight, curry.
what it is. Yo, what? Hey, Kasaga! Guess you're you know, I gotta switch. What's we a hell? I a sk Guess I'm up. I, you can find the words. This one's a real classic. Number! Yeah. <laughs> I've been a fool, and you've been childish. Yes! You fell down. You got her chasing sweeter dreams. Never could go. He could get a hide the truth in your eyes. Go. That's how I knew that smile was a lie. You're killing it. I love you is something you never say. Hey. Couldn't get it out. Always just pulled away. So then why, please won't you tell me why You could find the words to say goodbye yeah. I'm such a mess, I'm lost, I'm no good at this I'm in love, still in love, still in love with you yeah. I'm try, I can't even drink Twisting my view, I've been a fool. Great.